just need to be kind of like right at the base level of this thing. Above it, not below it, just right at the base level. And you see, like, I have this greatly reduces damage. This one, which slightly reduces damage. This one, which reduces damage. Like, I've got all three of those. And the damage that they're dealing is still absolutely nuts. Some of the most... I have, like, the de defense build here. Like... The heck? On with that water. <laughs> I also don't like the fact that uh, I often don't get the opportunity to like do my attack before they get a chance to do theirs. Can't help but laugh. Neither can I. It's so funny. It's so hilarious, right? What are you laughing at? Huh? How did that thing know to hit me just right? Secret area here. Ooh. Nice. Everything found. Yep. This is indeed my first playthrough. Just got it last, uh, this, well, this month in the PlayStation catalog when they give you the free games. It's like, this is the first time that I've... That I've ever played it. The battle here. One final stand. Or maybe they should have sat. <laughs> Light existed long before I was born to the ancients. Long have we both lived underground. What? The sheer amount of blight that overruns this place is beyond the pale. I don't get it. Beyond the pale what? Beyond the bucket? A white priestess cleanses the souls of the afflicted through purification by taking on the blight in their stead. White priestesses are born with a natural resistance to the Blight. Their souls are unaffected by it. Thusly, the Blight cannot cause them to lose their minds or be driven mad. However, like the afflicted, the effect of the Blight on the body still linger, causing the priestess agonizing pain. If this suffering could be alleviated, the burden on the White Priestesses would surely be lessened. Know how you relieve that burden? Bit of Tylenol. Take two Tylenol, call me in the morning, you know? Anything on that wall? Ooh, boss? Boss room? Oh, hello! Who are you? Look like a giant slug. Whew. 
whatever the heck that is. How? I definitely have to be in the air for this in this battle. it is a great game like it is really great my biggest like thing that the biggest problem i have with it is just the polish like it seems to be lacking just a little bit of polish somebody like me go through and like actually figure out where hitboxes need to be and like good spacing for enemy attacks or stuff like that i don't like how in the very beginning of the game, like the enemies do, maybe I should as well figure these things, um, how the enemies do pretty much like you have to fight or hit them like four times in order to kill them at the very beginning of the game. And then throughout the game, they just increase from there. Like even if you're getting stronger, for some reason, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Ooh. Wait. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Could potentially just need to be kind of like right at the face level of this thing. Above it, not below it, just right at the face level. That's still hitting me. It is gonna be a big one. Hey. Hey. Why can't I purify Muriel the Beloved? Can't I purify this big old worm? 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, no worries. Hello. It was all too late. Or what? Are you Muriel? Muriel, my assistant, my lover, lost to the blight. Never once laid a hand on me. I've proven firsthand that though the blight may trap us in an undying shell of impurity, it will never deprive us of who we are. By the point of the blight? I tried countless experiments to bring her back to me, but it's all been to no avail. Thanks to my constant work with the Blight, the Immortal King Knights came to being. And now even the White Priestess suffers as a result of my work. Now that I've defied the King, surely I will be driven from my lab. They can reach you. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Jeez, really am pity all fool without you, Muriel. Uh, ugh. Oh, gross. Yet, I mustn't give up now. Can we not rest on the spider, please? Until your life's work is complete, not until we save the White Priestess. Please, Muriel, one day. Let me hear your voice again. Faden manipulates blight, Blighted to blast enemies. While slow, this deals heavy damage and can blow enemies away at a distance. Unlock. Well, there is some uh, discovery to have now. Uh, blighted Behemoth. Though its mind was gone, I feel as if it was direly protecting something. Separation anxiety. <laughs> Please don't blame yourself. I prepared for this eventuality when I set out to study the Blight. I wanted to tell you face to face. I couldn't find the words. Please forgive me. There's so much more to do. Hope you'll continue researching in my stead. I'm sorry things ended up this way. My repeated experiments have produced unexpected results. I have yet to return a blighted to its former consciousness. However, I have successfully created a new blighted form from a test subject that retains conscious thought and the ability to communicate. I'll have to continue monitoring their progress, but by creating a blighted that retain its humanity, have I unlocked the secret to immortality? At least the king will be pleased. I suppose I could call this substance wrung from the white priestess, the deathless elixir. Though there's nothing it can do for Muriel, any trace of humanity left in her has long since dissipated. Yay! Got a power that literally just unlocks doors. Okay. That'll lead me down, but... Don't bring me down. Am I able to... It says that there's another secret somewhere in here. Maybe in that? Let's 
Silva's blight-stained note. Verboten domain is filled with unfathomable experience. They are so choked with blight I can't even breathe without a mask. The only one who can protect the white priestess of the fount. All she has left. If I drink the elixir, will it give me the strength needed to protect her? I'm useless as I am now. As I've been. I want to transform myself. Must be for Sigrid's sake, too. Okay. Let us... Well, let's see what's down here first. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be an annoying area, I can tell. Um, I know where several of them are, as for what they're for, probably not entirely. Like how there's so many of these, like, light flowers. Probably have these guys out here, but... now and I've never understood more clearly she's out there at the end of this blighted breadcrumb trail what the white priestess yeah, I kind of figured that was where we were going for this whole time yeah, don't you try that stay away from me yeah just a lot of those things in there let's go to some of these doors like all I know is that there's this white priestess and she's got this job to cure these blighted and then they become blighted and she didn't want to have children and then they forced her to have children and like they became what I am now I guess Abyss. Light a hang here even thicker still. Be on guard. What lies ahead of the area was sealed off long ago. Oh, that's fine. Even with the mask? not doing very much all right let's see hey okay, last heal Oh, yeah. They don't give you enough, like, heals. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to take something off. Some nasty health effects.
Come on. Oh! Not taking any damage anymore. Deathless Pact. Only high-ranking priestesses are permitted to perform the necromantic rites that entreat the souls of the dead. A warrior of ancients must forfeit flesh and offer their soul to the priestess, in turn becoming a deathless entity. The pact is then sealed and continues down the family line through the generations until the bloodline comes to an end. The warrior shall remain immortal so long as the pact continues. One of our warriors consumed by blight. We were the last ones left alive. We happy few. <laughs> and dying warrior's end comes upon the death of the priestess to which they are bound. The hour of death has come for my priestess and I. Eyes grow dim. Soon only our decaying corpses will remain. Aaron, Eldred is. Horrifying. <laughs> Battle is lost. Our homeland stripped bare. What fate awaits the people who have lost everything? Hatred is the vilest blight. Unaffected by purification, it festers, rotting from within. Listen well, Farron, the last of the undying warriors. The bond of the Deathless Pact will pass on to a new priestess. I beseech thee, carry us in your memories. Be the guardian of the last priestess of our ancient society. Eh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Rest in peace, my brother in arms. I lost the priestess that what I was meant to protect long ago. Been imprisoned here ever since. And I met you, the carrier of her ancient bloodline. My first thought was to break the bonds of the pact. By my own hands, I would end it. You wanted to kill me! As we traveled together, I came to the realization that you were going to do that pretty much on your own enough. <laughs> came to a realization. I was once supposed to protect the priestess of this land long ago, and I'm still meant to protect her. We're the last hope of the ancients. Together we can free the white priestess of the fount. I believe this to be the sole wish of the ancients. I wish and... People long since consumed by the blight. Well, uh, yeah, I probably, I probably butcher it a few times because we're uh, like I keep calling it the verboten domain, even though it's verboten domain. It's just because the hard R that's before it. Just a weird speech problem I have. Ain't ready to go up yet. What is this? It says I collected everything, but then there's this. What's this. Oh, it just brings me back up. Really didn't have to do that. There are plenty of ways to get up. Okay, let's see. Um, hands. Secret. Okay. Now, let's see. This one here. There's some sort of secret something in here. Driving me nuts. up here and get this giant blighted flower. Oh, she is not looking too well.
There we go. Can we not do that? Can we please? Away. Into the left or right of the bench, press down and jump. Let it try in a second. Ooh. Writing on the wall. Never allowed a shred of human dignity. I thought he might acknowledge my presence, my strength. No, it wasn't enough that I pulled myself up from the depths of heck to get here. He only ever had eyes for himself, and now he's trying to take everything from me once again. I won't let that happen. I'm going to take it all back. I imagine that's from the King's Son. I already beat. What does this do? Away. Oh, stand to the left or right of the bench, press down and jump. Oh. oh. That's weird. Sir Gerard erects this monument in memory of those who fought alongside the White Priestess of the Wind. They fought bravely to eradicate the Blighted, allowing for the construction of the Twin Spires. Their noble sacrifice is the bedrock of our great sanctuary. Sanctuary! Granting us refuge from the Blighted Menaces encroach on the Verboten Domain. Well, how do I get there? Like, where's... Okay, so I have to go around there, down, and then over. Okay. Come on. Okay, here. There we go. Perfect. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Today we've been doing dumb stuff.